Well, hello everybody and welcome to Tuesday Night Festivities. KB with you, Karen Bryant here with you. Uh, it is show number 23. Anyway, today, uh, big show, we have Marvin Vittori joining us. Marvin is currently the second ranked USC middleweight and you know, there are so many middleweights in action recently, so we definitely want to ask Marvin his opinion on a lot of things. Yeah. Also, we will probably ask him some things about Italy. I have been fortunate enough to go to Italy, and uh, Hanato, though, I don't know if he has been, so we will ask uh, Marvin some questions about Italy and just kind of things in general about, you know, I mean, look at, he's real Italian, right? So, uh, so there's some fun Italian stuff that we want to get into with him as well. <laughs> Speaking of highly dramatic, uh, let me introduce you to the man, the myth, the legend, 27 times. Ah! Champion. Oh, hi, Hanato. Ah, speaking, of, speaking of downhill, Poha. <laughs> speaking of downhill, now we're going immediately downhill. Now you're know. going straight to the sewer, Poha. How are you? Straight hi. to the bottom. I'm what? doing great. You know why? Why? Because I'm not watching any Olympics, Poha. What's wrong with the Olympics? I'm kidding. I, who gives a shit about the Olympics? I used what? to care, but they didn't put jujitsu and they didn't put capoeira. Oh, look at that lights, uh, Graham. She had the height idea. Look at that hearts. Yeah, they're happy to see you. I'm, I'm a, you know, I'm a dream boat of slides. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Hey, yeah. Where, where, where were you? Good question. Um, where was I? None of your business, for huh? I, I, I have a life, a private life. God, I. Somebody was hubbing my feet. And my lower back. Okay. 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 Well, people are saying you look good tonight. Oh, well, thank you. I agree. God, I, they have Karach and they have a couple other stuff. But I can't believe they also, didn't they took out the fucking hassling? After a while, they start, like, you keep you keep a thing where you do a hibbing and you do the fucking cunt split in the air, but but you you don't, you're going to get hit of hassling? But is that sudden, Summer Olympics? I, whatever it is, it's all Olympic to me. And when I think about it, it's, it, it's kind of become like um, the Academy Award for me. I was thinking about it today because someone said about the Olympic on a podcast I was listening to. And I said, God, I used the fucking Olympics? I didn't even know. When I was a kid, I would have been waiting for the fucking Olympics. I would have been like, the whole world, the, the, all this shit. Same as how I used to be about the fucking Academy Award. As a kid, I thought it was the most important shit on earth. Now I realize it's just, it is what it is. It's, uh, it's, P, it's, P, it's a PH campaign, you know? Um, and so I, I feel like um, it's a similar to- a P What? A PR campaign. I just, I was like, PH, PH balance is it? Basic? No, I'm not talking about your PH balance. I haven't gotten to, to inspect that one yet, God, are you? Right, hopefully that one is not thrown off, God, are you? Gonna... But okay, so I hear you that the Olympics aren't what they used to be, perhaps. Well, but mm -hmm. I will say I still watch them when they're on. I'm a sucker. I watch the Olympics. Let's say you know I have to be honest. I I've been more a fucking um, summer Olympic guy even as a kid. Yeah, I never been a big Winter Olympic guy because well, I'm not even a big hockey guy. I'm not a big um, what ice. I, I, well, I do like some figure skating. God, I, That's what I'm saying. The skating yeah. is pretty amazing, actually. I like that, but I also get nervous, too, because every time they do a fucking triple Lindy or whatever, I go, oh, God, I, I, I just know they're going to fucking fall down. But they don't. I was literally But sometimes they do, and when they do, it's a heel bummer. No, I, what I was saying is, before you got here, is that the guys now, they all can just, they all just do quads. It's just like a thing. They all can just do it. It's insane. Well, you know, every year the people do better stuff. I mean, I created a lot of stuff. And now look at, I created the triangle. I created all the, I created mount position. I created back uh, control. I created doggy style. Uh, I created missionary. Well, that's debatable. Some people said that that, that exists before me, but. I but a reverse cowgirl. Um, but in any case, uh, I used to be more half up in that shit. Now it is what it is, boy. There's other sporting events that I get more excited about, you know? Okay, well, I'm And just... then when you start to find out it's a kind of a hustle and how much money, like, you know, you find out the any workings of what happens with the Olympic, you know, and you realize it's not really, this world thing is like this group of people who like to make fucking money, you know what I mean? 
It, well, but it, that's what everything is. I point. understand, but back in the day, I thought it was like, it felt more like it was the UN or something. It was like everybody in the world, you know, like this committee that we get together. It's because you were a child and you believed. Exactly. So once I realized it's just, a, just like any other bullshit, it's less, mm, and, and they did a lot of squirrely stuff. So they did that shit to that girl where she, they found some weed in her sister. And they didn't let her to 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 compete, you know that that that. Yeah, I know, but weed's illegal for the competitors. I understand. I'm just saying, uh, you know, stuffs like that. It make me go, ah, you know, like. She yeah. knew it. The ah. Hmm. She knew. Yeah. Uh, I just. Well, I also can. Uh, I will. I will say. I understand that a lot of the Brazilian, you know, Winter Olympics are not necessarily uh, Brazil's strong point. Yeah, so. neither you too, I except for you think it's, uh, you think it's cool huntings. You think it's cool huntings, but that, that was one time. I, I got news for you, huh? My friend Malik was in that movie. Oh, Malik, yeah, you know Malik. Well, I know him because years ago when I was uh, a young Hanach and, and I was just came to America, I used to do like a uh, bit parts and stuff and i had a Were bit, you on new york undercover i had a bit part in new york undercover and i play a puerto rican who, who want the main guy get shot and i'm one of his boys and it was the bad guy from juice it was like the puerto rican from juice who's also in like um the fuck is that uh, uh he was in that like uh uh, um homie on juliet with uh with uh dicaprio was it harold perino no, no, no. I, no, I'm saying it was oh, a Puerto no, he can, uh, Is the guy, you ever seen Juice? Of course. You know the guy who played Hadamaz? He's like, I can't guy. remember Juice. Dude, Whatever. He's forever, you, you can't remember Juice. It's been forever since I've seen Juice. Yeah, but you remember every other stupid fucking. Um, but, but in any case, you remember uh, obscure movies that Jason Bateman did on cable or whatever. Yeah, but I Juice, love him. Never mind Juice, though, huh? Anyway, listen. Uh, no, it wasn't John Leguizamo. It's a lesser guy. It's the guy who played fucking Hadamaz in Juice. Anyway, never mind. Uh, yeah, Hob Funch. It was Hob Funch. <laughs> Let's just say it was Hob Funch. So then he gets shot and he's in slow motion and and, and I'm I'm one of his boys. But when the, when they start to shoot out of the car, I go, who can I? And I hunt away in slow motion. Now, uh, um, Antopilech. Um, and so, oh, uh, Marvino. Is that yeah, why? Yeah, our, our guest uh, is here. I don't want to interrupt your story. No, don't I worry. It's not that great a story. I was a bit part of fucking New York Undercover. We can move on from that. Okay. Well, listen, yeah. Why don't we welcome uh, Marvin Vittori. He is the second ranked UFC middleweight. Uh, he is a total badass. And, uh, oh, my <laughs> Oh, my own. How you guys doing? We're oh, great. Who's... How are you? I'm good. I'm good. It's a crazy day, but it's good. Why yeah. it's so crazy for her? Huh? I changed car today, and you know you have to go through so much stuff all the time. And I mean, and then I, I I'm gonna go train after I train early in LA. I gotta I had to came back to Newport for like just a mess. Wait, but, so, you're so smoking good. Newports? You're not supposed to do that. No, With no. Me. No, I listen. You're training now. You having yeah. a Newport? What? You said you're training, and then you have a Newport. Newport. He that's thinks the, oh, he means. That's I don't oh, get all these legs, you know. Like, yeah, like, no, that's you a new part. It's a kind of cigarette. I, oh, really? No, nah, I never I thought maybe you was no, hanging out smoke. with some of that guys, you know, uh, the Afro-American smoking new parts. Um, no, I don't smoke. Oh, God, I thank God. Thank my, to my God for her. Um, what up? Look at that facha. <laughs> look at that facha. Que fa, que fa. How, do you know, how do you know Italian? Uh, you, well, funny you should say this, okay. And I saved this for the for the uh, fucking uh, podcast. Like, Karen. <laughs> okay. Oh, why are you said? Well, I don't speak that much fucking. He said Karen. entrevista, <laughs> which is interview in Portuguese. Oh, entrevista. No, no, I thought he was talking about entrevista. Uh, ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So any anyway. Yeah, um, yeah. I said I was sending entrevista to my to my to my to my coach actually. He's here oh, from nice. Italy for like a couple for a couple of weeks. Oh, nice. Oh, God, how are you? Um, so now, uh, I, I saved this for the podcast. I've been doing a lot of um, uh, finding out about my hoots, about, you know, what's, what is my makeup, you know, my, my ethnic makeup, doing the DNA shit, and then my mom is doing some, some tracing the stuff. We found out, I never knew this my whole life. I have a little bit of Italian in there, 
and we even know the last name and everything. It's a Spinelli. Spinelli. <laughs> from Spinelli. where? From where in Italy? From Florence. Uh, from Florence. Ah, from Firenze. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so, and I never knew this my whole life. I never knew I had some Italiano in there. And now I feel, I, I feel... Now like you I even look better mother. just by... Just by <laughs> yeah, now you look Italian. I feel that. strong. I feel strong. I feel, I feel a little more sex. You know, yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah, I can yeah, talk to women. Imagine I feel like I can time. be more aggressive with women if I want to now. <laughs> you yeah. know, I can grab the elbow. I go, oh, come here, car are you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a you know, you, you can give the three kisses because you know when we, right? when we say hi, we always do, we always do like three kisses. You know? So in America, I can do that too, like with the stranger. Yeah, like if I see course. a nice chick, uh, honey in Kenya, I go, hey, muy, car are you? Muy. Easy, easy. Hey, I've been to I've been to Florence. And you ask one on the chick, and then you turn around. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, of course, I give you the the, the the good part. Wait, yeah. so you said you went to Italy, huh? I did. I've I've been to Italy. I've been to Florence. It's it's beautiful. Your people are from a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. The best, I think. But it's nice. Yeah, wow, yeah. I, I miss it. I, love I miss that. it for sure. Well, so I'm listen, excited. you 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 represent them so well, though. You know, when whenever you fight, we show all the stuff uh, from Mezza Corona and everybody. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, really seems to root for you. Like, what what does that feel like to know that you have so so? I mean, like the whole town was meeting. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. So, like, what does that even feel like? I can't even imagine what that feels like. Yeah, I mean, it's just uh, you know, I think it's important to know where you're from and your roots. You know, without roots, or nothing. It's just. It's everything, you know, you just you just get dragged around like a flag. So it's good to, just, you know, know where your roots are from. And uh, so, you know, I'm from I'm from that little town and I know I'll bring it to me till death. So it's just, you know, it just, you know, put it on the map. It's just crazy because, you know, I mean, we have, you know, actually Mezzo Corona is, is known for a few things, but, you know, definitely one is me and uh, I'm proud mm -hmm. of it. Now, what, what else is known for, for him? But well, we have a massive winery, massive, massive. Oh yeah, massive winery. Probably one of the biggest in Europe for sure. Oh, nice. and it's, yeah, ah, Mezzo Corona. Yeah, I never heard about it until you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, and then we have one of the steepest, like, uh, uh, what's it called? Because we have like Monte di Mezzo Corona. It has like this, like this thing that brings you up to to the to the mountain of Mo oh, Mezzo Corona. Oh, kind of like Switzerland or something like that. No, no, yeah, yeah. But it, there's like this. Uh, a cabin, a cabin on a, on a, on a, on a court kind of like, and he's, I guess, I guess they told me, I don't even, I didn't even, I didn't even like check it, but it's one of the steepest of Europe also, like in, oh, okay. on how steep is the cabin that he goes up. Oh, oh wow. okay. Yeah. That's because cool. I, I, when I went to put the location, you know, I went to found Mezzo Corona and the thing that kept coming up is like Monte Me Mezzo Corona. Yeah, 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 right, yeah exactly. Right. And I was like, oh, okay. must be famous for this mountain, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, God, are you? So, wait, how, like, how many people? How big can you compare, like, 5, to an American people. city? Huh? That's it? 5,000 people. No. Oh, it's, like, that small. Yeah. Oh, so you really hit the fucking, you, like, oh, the you're superstar. The man. <laughs> what? I mean, yeah, it's small, small, yeah. Oh, Imagine my God. Trento, which is the biggest city uh, close to, uh, close to Metro Corona, is, like, 100,000 people. Wow. Like, I'm from, like, that's why, like, I don't, I guess I don't look like the, you know, the stereotype, the Italian stereotype, because I'm, I'm from the north, north, like, yeah, right. like, close to almost Austria, basically, on the border, like, a couple yeah. hours drive, I can be right. in Innsbruck. But if you know Italians, I mean, even if you know Italian Americans, you always know that they have the blonde ones and stuff, and you know, they right. come from the north. It's yeah, the yeah, yeah. Italians are darker. Yeah. You know that, the, that the, the food is different and stuff, so you know, it's, right. the, yeah. it, it's, you know, it's more, um, you know, you have more fit, like, it's more like what? Like, you have your fish and stuff like that? You well, know, like, we, we have more, like, meat and, like, you know, because well, less, we're on the less, mountains, we have, like, less red sauce, you know, right? we're not by the sea, so. Oh, sorry, but where... less, less head sauce, less, less, um, less of the stuff that we associate with Italian cooking. You know, less tomato stuff. No, no, everywhere in Italy, you can find very good food, to be honest. But no. depending on the areas, they, yeah. we do different things, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. So we were saying, like, what do you like? Because I, I love Italian food, but it's just one of those things where I feel like I look at Italian food and I gain 10 pounds, right? So I'm. No, nah, but. It, 
I know, I know, I know, I know. But I, I went there and I just was like, F it, I got to eat all this stuff. It's, it's amazing. But like, what, what are No, the but it's that... actually not true. It's like, actually, Italian, Italian uh, dishes are not even that heavy. Like, they're not supposed to be heavy. If you see like heavy Italian, Italian dishes, it's because like most of the time it's American Italian, but it's... Yeah, I Italian think Italian dishes the... are like, you know, there's there's not many sauces. It's just just enough. There's just enough of everything. That you, it's, it's all about taking out the the best of the flavor. It's not about over. It's more light anything. and fresh and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah high quality yeah. and like just like do it right. Yeah, yeah. I, um, so yeah, I noticed that because a lot of us is used to Italian American. And we don't realize that it's a very different thing than Italian culture. Yeah, know? let me tell you, like, like, you know, like, you know, like chicken Alfredo, not Italian, you know? Well, that's, uh, I mean, you even, even Italian Americans know that shit. I mean, that's... Well, a lot of people don't, man. I, I mean, I, it was crazy. Like, some, some, I remember, like, one of the guys from, like, the UFC Destin that was coming to, to, I don't know if it was the Destin guys or the, or or the well some other show yeah it was the destiny guys i'm pretty sure they were like they were saying some crazy stuff like how they were cooking pasta and like how actually they they were really believing that and i'm like bro you're, you're just but like, wait you're these guys weren't italian guys though i almost i almost go mad but they're not italian no they're not italian but they're like oh but yeah but everybody thinks that italian do this thing like do, Whoa, do, oh do yeah, yeah. Things this they way. just I'm know like, olive bro. garden and stuff and yeah like they know like a chicken yeah, exactly but it's like saying about america i just know i don't know i just know i don't know like new mexico i don't know right yeah 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 no i know it's different because it's like it, it would be almost to say the difference between like um african-american culture and like nigerians Nigerians would be like, no, that's not what we do. You know, it, it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah for it, sure. it's a completely different fucking thing, you know, it's its own right. thing, you know? Right. Um, yeah, I, I, I know that because I've, I've met Italians and I tried to say certain stuff that I learned in New York and they go, we don't say it like that, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, we were talking, like, we were talking to, um, hey, Longo, um, 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 Ally or Quinta. Yeah. And, you know, we were talking about, you know, the ham, it says like capicola. Capicolo. Okay. So in, 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 in fucking, if you try to say that in New York, they go, Maron, what are you talking about? They say, hey, Gabugu. Uh, Gabugu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Gabugu. In South. yeah, yeah. They have yeah. A different and it's just yeah. funny because we're so used to that style. And also we romanticize the American Italian gangster movies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of us. For memorize sure. good fellas and and oh yeah for sure all this stuff so we know more about italian american culture than we do uh, anything well, about yeah, yeah. it but we don't really we think we do but we don't yeah caray, but you know <laughs> thinking is half the battle caray. um yeah so you know so so what is the thing you you find most uh what is the thing okay so i noticed about you okay uh, i was talking to karen about this that the perception of you in the media of of MMA, it tend yeah. to be it, it tend to be like you this guy that have a short temper, and that you get you you can't you know you get pissed off and you're always like oh god are you, and it's so funny because from day one when I met you at I I we, when we first met we were sitting next to each other at um was like that Ten Planet kind of no, it was a glory kickboxing. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. And yeah. you was with Giga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, and then we was goofing around and stuff like that. From the minute I met you, you couldn't have been more friendly. You couldn't have been joking more, just positive, all that stuff. And then it's funny because I say, God, are you? How strange it is to see him, what he is in this world, what people think yeah, versus yeah, yeah. how I know him to be. So what is it about you? that you think people just don't even like what the fuck they, they don't get they what would what do you think that people don't understand no it's just because I, I think to be honest it's mainly because in the media people most of the time they don't come up to me in, in a nice way you know they try to ah. think of the same things so i mean and yeah you know like sometimes i might not overthink what i have to say and maybe you know i just say it out and then and, and you know and then i don't know you know sometimes they just they just love to like build like like you know picture a character around a person yeah. and they just stick to it. But yeah, no, like man, I mean, like, yeah, 
I mean, I, I'm, I'll be the first one to tell you I'm not the most, like, you know, like, uh, quiet and, 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 and relaxed person, but at the right. same time, I'm not, like, I'm not going to go up and bite people out and over, you know? Yeah, but well, it, it seems like they don't, they don't find a way to access the part about you that like to enjoy, that's funny and like to enjoy life and shit. And, yeah. and I just find it interesting. I'm like, I see comments from people. I say, you guys have no fucking clue about this kid. Yeah, no. Yeah, and I mean, uh, and it's funny because, it, like you said, everybody that knows me knows, you know, how I am. And like, you know, I, you know, I actually, you know, I can actually joke it for forever. You know, I'm, not, you know, I'm, I don't take it, you know, I'm not, I'm not the guy that, you know, sweet some people out and over but it is what it is you know at the end of the day you know? yeah what can you do it is yeah. it, you know it, it, it's it, it's interesting though because obviously you know getting you amped up that that helps sell the fights and stuff like that right and that is mm. something that's fun for us to kind of all like chew on is when somebody gets you amped up and we, you know, yeah. we can see Marvin all fired up. But yeah, you and I, we've worked together on UFC now and this and that, like yeah. the same thing. I, I know that you're, that you're a normal guy or something, but at the same time, um, I also do know that, you know, that is also who you are, right? You're, you're. Oh, he, uh -oh. now he didn't like what you just said. So he's, he's disappearing uh -oh. now. Oh. Marvin, what happened for her? Marvin. It, Come back. They, uh, Max Payne Griff is here too. Hey, Max Payne Griff. Oh, Max Payne Griff. We might need Max Payne Griff in a Max second. Payne Griff. I sent Max Payne Griff the link for the I sent Max Payne Griff the link for the after party too. Karen, so you notice how when you started interrogating him that and, yeah. and, 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 and saying, Oh, look at that. Look at that. You start interrogating him and saying, you know, that is part of your personality. You know, you're kind of halfway unlikable. See how he said like this? Nah, like I can't. He said, Maron, I'm out of here, Carter. Yeah. This I he get he give you one of these. Mm. I don't think it was my fault. Wow. Well, Carter. <laughs> <I think. laughs> yeah, man. Well, somebody <laughs> What do you say? Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I was trying to see a comment and you know, it went, hey, went off, but I heard what you said. We, w we was about to, we was about to uh, start turning against you. We was no. about to turn the whole thing and go, you know what? As a matter of fact, he is a piece of shit. Caraglio. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Caraglio, Caraglio with this together is like, it's yeah. Really well, yeah. But it's, cr it's crazy. No, you know, but so listen. No, I heard uh, what you said. Yeah. But, um, and, uh, yeah, no, I mean, you're right, you know, but, but that's the thing, like, I'm so committed to what I do. Right. And, uh, and my main drive is that like, you know, I'm away from everything. I just, I, I'm just here by myself and I just train all day long, basically twice a day. Yeah. So, you know, you mess around with my sport, you mess around with like, with, with my life. Cause that's what you're messing around with when you like pull out of a fight or like, oh, you know, when you don't yeah. show up, like. You get the the worst part of me. That's for sure. You get it. Like you 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 get it. So I mean, yeah, I kind of lose it right there. But that's like that's my that's like talone da Aquila, We would say, you know, like the one the like Achilles uh, Achilles. Uh, uh -huh. Achilles heel. Yeah. Yeah, right. the Achilles heel. Yeah. Talone da Aquila. Talone da Aquila. Yeah. Talone is the heel and. Woo! Speak Aquila. more Italian, Marvin. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking to me, Carayo. I just more said. Italian. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. It's funny because some people say talone da killer, but it, it's just funny. How, 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 how do you describe someone like her in Italian if you say she's a blah, blah, blah? Uh, she, uh, qua, 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 we say, we say sometimes. Qua, she's qua, a qua, qua, qua. qua. Uh. What is that? Like when I come when somebody talks a lot and you know. No, he asked for a translation in, into, Ita Marvin, into Italian. I so. thought we were friends. I didn't say that. <laughs> now how do I say? Okay, now now to be here. If I see in a beautiful, if I go to Italy, and mm -hmm. I see a beautiful Italian woman, and I have to talk to her, yeah. and I don't want to come off like a scumbag. But I want to say, I want to say something that I'm going to, you know, get her attention. 
and say and show her that I'm trying at least. What the fuck I can say to her in Italian something nice? Well, Without you can just say like, oh, something like you know something that I mean you know I don't think I mean most people most girls would take it the right the right way. I feel like you know you can say like I did yoki bellissimi or something like that. You know say again. I did yoki bellissimi like you have beautiful eyes something like that. I, I did yoki bellissimi. It sounded like or you, like, or like you can just say I'm a friend of Marvin and you know they all. Yeah, yeah, I'm well, you know what I'm gonna I'm thinking about doing is just going with you to fucking Mezza Corona and you're gonna be like Justin Bieber. So from you, it's gonna trickle down to me. I'm hey, but that's funny. Get... out there in my town, they all act cool, like they don't, you know, and that's what I like. Yeah, Milan but... is crazy. We can we won't go to Milan or Rome, it's that's definitely more crazy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, cause yeah, they, so they what like happens look at when you go over there. Are you scraping the girls off? Like, are you a big dick? <laughs> you know, like we're all, you know, I'm a man, you know. Oh, so that's a yes. Yeah. You oh, know? Are you? Are you Marvin? Uh, hey, you got. You know, like Renato knows about this. What are, you know? I, I know. He, he'll as much as, as, much as you don't. You don't make kids, you know. Yeah, I. I you know, I. Yeah, I. I, Dude, I just have right? to. Live it up, live it up. Exactly. I'm not, I'm not hating. You know, it was, you know, but America, same thing, you know, like at the end of the day. Yeah, well, they I like your that. accent out here. They enjoy that one. But that's the thing. My accent is pretty weird. Like, I don't, I don't know what kind of accent that I have. It's Italian, trust me. Yeah, all right. It, you sound like an Italian person to me. Okay, it, is, okay. it is, but it's like, it isn't straight Italian, though. It's not, it's not, it's, it is Italian, but mixed with something else. Well, it's Italian, but it sounds like the, this is a guy who can speak very good English, so he don't sound like, eh, qualche, eh, where do you go to? You know, I mean, he, he, he just sounds like a guy yeah, who yeah, comes yeah. from Italy, but can yeah. speak fucking okay. English. Yeah. Right. You know? Okay, so, so listen, Marvin, um, you know, there are a ton of, middleweight fights going on right mm -hmm. so last weekend number six fought number seven number seven beat number six sean strickland beat jack mm -hmm. Manson. this weekend we have israel adesanya defending his title against whitaker mm -hmm. in a rematch we also have cannoneer versus brunson on there so basically uh except for you and paulo costa like the top guys have are are in action over the next week couple weeks or including the last week so um i am curious uh a few of a few things not only just what's going on with you, but like first and foremost, uh, what's your take on the title fight rematch? Uh, do you think it's going to be and still or and new? Um, I wish it was and new to be honest, but I think it will be and still. <laughs> oh yeah, I wish it was and new. Wait, you know, you mean you don't like it? Is it? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm uh, kidding. I'm kidding, my brother. But I I'm swear, kidding. like, it just, uh, it's just like. I, I don't. Really, I don't try not to like. I mean, I, I don't like. I really don't like him. It's just like I don't like. I understand. Him, I, I, hey, I don't like him. I'm not trying not to like. I'm not. I'm not like forcing it at all. I completely understand, my brother. I like. I know a lot of guys who can't even. I, I understand the position you're in, and you're probably gonna feel different about this when you hitchhire from fighting and stuff like that. But now it makes sense for you. Just the, what's to like? No, but the, but the I style that he has, like, I think is a. It's a product of this. Of this society, and I, and I don't like his society that much. Like they're, they're all like you know, well, like the, it's it's a product of like all this fakeness, you know, and and uh, and it's it stands for nothing. That it stands for nothing that I like. So, but he's really winning fights, though. What do you, what do you mean? He's, he's. I mean, he lost against Blakovic. He didn't really fight against me. He run the whole time, and I mean, yeah, he's yeah. he's been winning, yeah. Listen, you can't ask him to enjoy the guy. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not saying. But I mean, you, you know, you like you of course I'm not, I'm not. I mean, I'm not saying he's not a good fighter. That that'd be like stupid for me. Like you know, like yeah. that'd be like I'm not saying that. And um, with that being said, I really believe I'll, I'll beat him the next time I'll, I'll catch him. And um, I I believe like I really believe that this time so much. Meanwhile, the other time I did believe it, but. Even that, all that aggressiveness and stuff, like, I don't think that I believe it to a deeper level. Like, I knew I could, I could do it, but deep inside, I knew, like, I had, a, I had a few doubts, you know, you know, and then uh, actually those things didn't really play out that, that, that the way that, that I thought in my head that they would play out. But, mm -hmm. but uh, this time around, man, like, 
I'm so improved from even my last fight. And that's the thing about me. Like, every time that I fight, I, I show up better. Yeah. So, um, now, it is what it is, though. I'm not like, you know, um, at the end of the day, you know, I want to go... I want to go down as the as the guy that beat them all. So whoever wants it, you know. But I yeah, like you said, they're fighting. Then um, Brunson and Conor are fighting. Let's see. Yeah. So I I got a question. I know that this is probably the, the least one you would be excited about, but a lot of fans after this last fight of um, what's his name, um, Charzan or whatever the fucking guy's name. Strickland. He yeah, doesn't Strickland. use Charzan anymore. By the way, that nickname is gone. Oh, no. sorry. Excuse me. Whatever. I just remembered. I couldn't think of his We name. literally got a memo not to go. We got it. We got a new name. name. Excuse me. I what's got, his I got it for him. What's his Shauna. name? What is it? Shauna. Oh, God, are you? That's Shauna. Well, now, Shauna. here's my question. The, this the is female is, version. Now, this, but I, I have to be honest about, about Shauna. Me and Shauna are pretty good friends. Oh, for okay. you? Yeah. yeah. We train. That's I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a weird friendship. I'm well, not going to lie. Of course. He's the kind of friendship that one time he had bought him in the face and cut me, and I took off my gloves and tried to punch him in the face without gloves. He said, "Love." They came and broke us, and broke us up at the at a UFC gym close to close to here. But at the end of the day, I can count on him to show up and uh, and get good work, and um, mm -hmm. and he can too, you know. So, but he might at the end of the day, it's almost like two friends that's trying to fuck the same girl or something like that. It's like when it come down to it, you can't like the guy that fucking much. You know what I mean? You're like, listen, I, you're trying to take the thing that I want, so you know I like you to yeah. a point. But, yeah, uh, but I mean, you know, if we can, you know, yeah, well, you know, it, it's a it's a scenario where we can't have it together. So I mean, I guess you know I can have it before and he can have it after, or like whatever. I had it already. So you after. don't want to fight the guy. He I mean, said, you, well, and he said he only wants to fight you if it's well, you know, hard. like so look. Like in reality, he's a he's a he's a fresher face right now, right? I've been around the top five for a little bit. I don't know. I think he's a fight away, and um, I don't think he should have fight me. And if they will, if they do want this fight, they have to pay us pretty well because they're yeah. not gonna mess around. Cause we we're gonna talk, you know. Cause I have to say, um, um, after the fight happened, I noticed a lot of comments and I, even people texting. No, me I know they, like want, they they want this fight bad for yeah, some reason. They see it as a as a fun one, you know. I mean, I, I think so. I, do too. I think it would be a great fight. I, I yeah, do too. No, but I would is. never campaign for that because I feel like for you know for Mahvi, for Mahvino, it's not it's a it's at best a lateral move, you know. Yes. Yeah. So it's not great for his career. But I mean, look, realistically speaking, right? Adesanya wins. I'm not gonna gonna. I, I don't know. I, I mean, if I wait long enough, I might get a title shot. But I want to be active. I mean, I'm. Yeah, you have to be. So I want to smash all these guys. So at the end of the day, we'll see. You know, but I think, uh, I think somebody else will get it. And then um, I want to fight Whitaker at one point. But Whitaker doesn't seem to be like active. I be, active. I would like, be very to get him out of like yeah. to get him out of um, to get him to fight. It's always a little bit of a hustle. I feel. It, um, it it does seem that you know Jared Cannonier could be next, right? If he's if he beats Derek Brunson, even Strickland the other day was saying he thinks Jared should get it. Um, like your point about being you know needing some fresh blood, Jared would be somebody that Israel hasn't fought yet, right? Um, and so it is tough. There there there's still a lot of good fights right there, right? Like I mean, yeah. I can get the loser, or I, I can get the loser of like. Uh, I mean, that's the thing. It's so easy to please me, you know. Only thing, if I have to fight a friend and Sean, then just just pay me, you know, just because yeah. I, I would do it. I mean, we both like to fight, so I know we won't get mad at punching each other's face. But at the same time, you know, fighting is a little bit different. You know, like you go out, you try to. I'm really gonna go out and try to hurt you, and he's gonna do the same. So yeah, yeah. And, and and you know, like and the UFC. Kind of play like you know. I'm taking also half of your money, <laughs> like, you know, when you do it. So yeah. there's a little bit more on the line, you know. So we have, if I have to do that, let's make sure, you know. Now what about? And now, I mean, I, listen, I you know, we fight every fucking time in the gym. So <laughs> I bet. Now what about Costa? People said that you gave him some of that Mezzacohona wine, <laughs> <laughs> and you he didn't deserve it. He didn't he deserve it. I wanted to. You gave him the wine, and then he couldn't do his thing over there. 
No, what he happened did blame is like, the wine. What happened when I went up to the guys, to the commission, I said, oh, can we bring this bottle of wine? <laughs> and without realizing, I said, um, well, hopefully it doesn't do anything stupid. Otherwise, I smash it on his face. And then I just, the moment I said it, I said, fuck, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, because they, they really believed that I shit. I shouldn't have said that. And um, I don't think they're going to let me. And in fact, the moment, I don't know, you can't bring that. Like, ah, fuck. it would have been but, nice you can bring in that one with that have like the the straw stuff around that one, you know? Like oh, the, yeah, the ki Chianti. Oh, man, we, we, we're serious about wine. Like, if we, if we bring Chianti wine. with the, the thing hanging at the place. Like I said, for Mezzo Corona, we have, the, we have probably the biggest winery in Europe, so. I'm drinking some red wine. Here we go. Good, good. Well, when are you going to come out with your own head wine? You know, you're going to send me some of that one? Wait, not, not wine, but I'm coming oh. out with something pretty fucking cool. Oh, grappa. Very soon. Grappa? Grappa. No, 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 grappa. Gin. Oh. Gin. Nice. How are you? Gin, Wait, gin. I love gin. You're putting gin, a twist gin, on but it? it it's going to be a little bit still, but we're working on it. We've been working on it. It's going to be awesome. Nice. It's going to nice. have notes of a hagenol and... and, and uh... Basil. Uh, basil or hagenol. Well, there's going to be pine, way. definitely. There's going to be a lot of pine. There's going to be a little bit of orange. There's going to be, because, you know, he has, to, he has to tell a story, but yeah. Oh, carajo. I tell a lot of stories if you give me some fucking gin. Oh, carajo. I, 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 I don't have good, to, good. but I will. For, huh? A basil laquito, I think it was either in Venice or Florence, but they had, uh, we were drinking a basil laquito, and it was like a, they made a mojito type th drink, but it was like smashed basil Ooh. and and something it was unbelievably good oh god are you gonna try unbelievably good. okay um, so i have to ask you marvin um recently we saw down at king's mma my beloved friends down there you know i love that gym there's a lot of activity going on right there and that is a gym that you know and love it now were you getting any work in shogun was there recently did oh, yeah. you get any work in with shogun yeah yeah i was working uh, i worked with shogun yeah, yeah. i said uh, we played around a little bit yeah did he okay, show you so some how tricks that? how'd it go Oh, it was good, man. It was good. It's, it's always a pleasure. It's always, you know, an honor for me to, to, to share the man with such a legend, you know? Yeah. Did he give you any little tricks? You don't have to say which ones, but, you know, I love when legends give you a little, little tidbit of something. No, no, we just exchange knowledge overall, but, I mean, no, yeah. nothing in particular, but... Yeah, I like your Shogun. Nice. I mean, everybody That's loves you. Every, everybody does. Everybody's... Okay, so also... Benil Dariush, though, coming up, has a fight. Um, and so I am curious what your take is, you know. Oh, if, man. I mean, because Mahani is, is tough. Benil is, a, is it's still a special good, dude, know. man. Benil is a special dude. Like, I I know just one guy that works as hard as I do, and that's, that guy is Benil Dariush, and he's so focused, and he just, he's a beast, man. I, there, people's gonna, I'm so happy that this fight is happening because people are going to find out. And I'm uh, excited for this one, too. Great. Yeah. This, this this to me is the real title fight, to be honest. Yeah, I'm I'm very excited from this one. I, I don't think that the guy uh I forgot it, I have to say his name, the other guy. Islam Bakhatev. Oh, here we go. You didn't have to put that much ha <laughs> into it. That's how you say his name. Okay, Karayu, but careful. You save your your you you uh <laughs> your voice oh. for later. Um but but uh Islam <laughs> Mahachev. Mahachev is, uh, but I don't think he understands what Benil is going to bring to the, to, yeah. you know, I don't think he, I yeah. think maybe he's taken a little bit lightly, you know? I think Even so though, too. look, yeah, someone just said Islam is a big fucking problem, but so is uh, Benil, you know? Yeah. I think, I think it will come down to Will, to be honest. Yeah. I, want, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think Islam will be able to control Benny and, um, I think actually Benny could have chances of if he gets him into bad position. Like Benny's jiu jitsu is way sharper than, than oh, Islam. Sure. Yeah. Well, well like, I'm not nice. saying that it's easy that Islam to put Islam in bad position. But that's the thing I train with both too. Oh really? Yeah. yeah, I train one time with Islam. He's a beast, man. I'm not saying no. He's a yeah. beast. Like, he's a beast. Especially How come for, all for, like, those guys? All those guys from like that you know that, what that is it? from like Hasha, but they have the beard like uh Amish guys. Um and they have a, a Muslim name. Those guys Bella are Daniela. Like, Yeah, they like ten times stronger than they should be for huh? Like what happened to that guys? What they I, don't know. I have an idea but I don't wanna say it. Well come on Poha, I don't mean like that. I wasn't even but, suggesting that. No but, but fair but 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 to your point, I like also Hamza. believe that 
I believe that Benil, though, Benil has not only uh, just so much more experience, like Benil never panics, right? Because that's the thing about Kings MMA. Like, you guys, we talk about the Friday sparring and stuff like that, like sparring with Verdun when Verdun was still there. Verdun hasn't been killers. around now for a little bit. Killers. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So to me, when I see people talk about Islam, and I think he is incredibly dangerous, I just know that Benil's been in worse positions in the gym on a Friday. Like, I, I just don't, oh, yeah, I feel man. like he's always had such great conversations. At this level, it's not about, like, when when you get, like, top two, top three, I'd say even top five, like, they all, like, it's, it's a, it, it goes from very good to elite, and everybody's and getting And who wants you know, it more? It just gets to a lead. Like, you're never going to find the guy that, you know, like, you, you break him or, like, you break him easy or, like, you'll, like, with big holes. Like, they're all game on their own way of fighting, you know. MMA is so wide, but on their own way, they're all, like, you know, they know how to stand their own in, in a cage, you know, like, so. Mm -hmm. Speaking of uh, people who have a will, I wore this for you um, in honor of you. This is, oh, nice. uh, Jake, this is a Jake LaMotta. Nice, hell yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. It have the signature of Jake, Jake Lamont, and he say, you never got me down, hey. It's the exactly, heel, Jake yeah. Lamont. I can't like, relate to that. It's not a De Niro, it's, it's the heel one, you know? Hey, so uh, there's a question for you, uh, Marvin. Um, asked, somebody was asking what it was like training with Nate Diaz. And yeah, you, you posted a picture recently on your, on your gram uh, that you and Nate were training. What, what was the deal with that? Uh, me and Nate, we, 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 like, uh, we go back a long way. Like, I trained with him for the first time probably six, seven years ago. It was one of his seminars, and uh, we've always been cool since then, and it's always a pleasure for me. And I, like I said, it's, uh, it was, I just enjoy, like, sharing the, sharing the ring or, or, or the match with these guys, you know. It's uh, just, just a pleasure, just, uh, just an honor, you know. And you, uh, you know, we had, we, had, we had a couple of good rounds. You train with Nick too, sparring or no? Nick never. No, never huh? Nick. Oh. No, never got to train with Nick. Just messed around at the bar a couple of times, but that's ah, it. Just fucking a hound. Yeah, just messing bullshit. around. Yeah, you can't help me. Sometimes you guys, you get a group of guys like that drinking, and you start fucking yeah, a hound yeah, and yeah. another bullshit. Grabbing Kim water. Yeah. Yeah. No, nice. And then, yeah, hey, he, so he likes like you know like. Nick liked to mess around like that, so yeah. We're just nice. Yeah, no, I've known those. I've known Nick and Nate for since probably around 2007 or so. So yeah, you don't have to tell me about how great they are. I love those guys. Yeah, no, they're good. They're they're great guys. Yeah. So so what is the deal with you in terms of your training then? Because we do know, like you just said before, there are options for you uh, about some of these fights. The way some things will shake out. Um, what are you, do you, do you have somebody in mind? Like when you're training? I'm right just, now? um, I'm just now, you know, like the whole, my whole focus was to, to be hundred percent healthy and, um, uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting right there. And, uh, now it's just about perfect, perfecting my craft and just making sure that the next version of myself is going to be the one that is going to really take over the whole division for mm -hmm. a, for a while, for a long while until I decide so, so. You know, we'll see. We'll see what happens now this week, the next week, and then, um, you know, like I'll be ready. I mean, like in a couple months from now, I, I I can take a fight. Like I mean, I could take a fight. You know, like I could fight May, definitely June, and so on. Yeah. Like, I mean, by May, I'll be definitely super ready. Okay. Mm, cool. God, I oh, you know, someone just just um, comment. They said the Italian dream. Now, I I. Is this a nickname that you that got is his, yes. from the ladies or whatever, or you made that up yourself? No, I know. And listen, you so you see, like it's it's good that like I am this way, so it doesn't take like a bad like you know it doesn't take like a like a feminine kind of like like no turn this this this. But no, it turned out because um, you know I feel like I was listening to an Eminem song and they were talking about. Uh, uh, American dream, and I said, like, you know, I'm the Italian dream, because, like, you know, from, from nothing, I'm going to make it to, yeah. to something, and then eventually everything, so that's that's why, you know, like, my brother like in Italy, there wasn't that much of, there isn't this much of, like, uh, of this idea of making it, you know, it's just like, you yeah. know, you get a spot, no, you just stay there all, their whole life, and I'm like, right. hell no, you know, I want more. I got you. I love Thanks. this nickname. I, I love nicknames like that, um, because it's meaningful, like you said, but it also sounds very egotistical. 
And I like those guys like, uh, you know, the old hustlers. I used to love the ones, the WWF, the ones that like act like they're the most gorgeous thing on earth. You know what I mean? That I was gonna say, it's kind of a sexy And it just sounds like when good. it's like, I'm the, you know, like, um, you ever seen uh, Hockey 3? Oh yeah, 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 of course, yeah. Okay, you know, we have um, with the Hulk Hogan character, Thunder Lips. Uh, you know, Hulk Hogan, he's played a big hustler. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, okay, and yeah. he was like, he called himself the ultimate male for her, you know? And he was like, yeah. the ultimate male versus the ultimate meatball. <laughs> right. You know, like, next up, last stop, me ball. Or whatever. Yeah. You remember that stuff? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he mind me of that sense, like, you know, yeah, it, the girls, his kiss, his mouth, he shows the muscles, they kiss that one. It's like the Italian dream for her. You should have someone come out and they hold the mirror, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. And you come out dressed like uh, Copernicus or whatever, one of these fucking guys, you, you have like the hat. Uh, and, and then you, you know, you go, whoa, how are you, you know? Marvin you gave the time with the mirror from Purple Rain. Yeah, I, I, I want to see more of that stuff. I think we can get you to a Master Hapoel Cordero with the mirror. Oh, <laughs> yes. Hapoel Cordero <laughs> is like you. Is like yeah, I'm not good at those things, to be honest. I mean, yeah. No, no, work. trust me. Fire you, manager. I'm your manager now. We're going to have you to the chop. Immediately, you're going to have a, a, right. a, a fight. Imagine they're gonna hate you like the guys, the women is gonna love you and the men is gonna throw their popcorn. Ah, boo, cara, you. And you're gonna go Mwah, like that. You know, that kind of stuff. The Italian dream, brother. Ah, <laughs> but you're, yeah. yeah, that's proper WWE stuff. Yeah. yeah you're, I, but I you're like 100% it. right though about the nickname. Like, it's great. It's a yeah. great nickname. It's a, don't change that one. Let's just put it to you that way. Do not change that one. It's perfect. No, no, I won't, I won't. Sometimes I hate when I got you got a great nickname. Like, remember what's his name was called the Amer the Psycho or whatever the fucking name. Oh, the yeah, yeah, the American. And Psycho. then now, not the wait. Well, who? What was? Oh, I can't believe I can't even think of his name right was now. Was Joe Bonner like was Stephen Bonner? No, right? not him, not him. Um, the fucking kid. He's a uh, McDonald. Uh, Rory McDonald. Rory McDonald. Oh yes. What was his old nickname? Did it Rory go as the, not Canadian psycho? It was some kind of fucking psycho or something that sounded cool. And then he changed his, like, I'm the head, the head, the red head. King, oh, the red, yeah. red devil or red, red, red king. king. He yeah, the head king. king. And I was like, oh, carayo, that don't have the same hint to it. Yeah, no, he was, yeah, yeah he yeah, changed yeah. to red king and it was way better Yeah, before. and then, you know, the kid, you know, the chubby kid who knocked out um, um, our Italian friend um, recently, you know, um, the, Gian Vellante? Yeah, yeah, but the, the child. Chris uh, Barnett. Yeah, so Barnett, his name used to be the best name on earth. It was a Huggy Bear. I know. <laughs> My, that would have been the number one heavyweight he's, champion he's nickname. He's boy, but he's yeah. going back to Huggy Bear. Please go back to Huggy Bear. What? You can't, you can't beat that Huggy Bear. <laughs> Huggy Bear. I, I, you can't, and that's a beautiful. And then hey, Touchy listen. Feely. Touchy feely, that is. Mwah. And touchy feely is that great is not nickname. bad. Yeah. Hey, listen, Marvin. Uh, we should we should probably let you go. Um, but Hanato, is there anything else you want? To, I feel like, I feel like we've harassed Marvin a little. Listen, bit there's a million no, stuff. No. Listen, I don't want to take up all your time, but I do want to do this. Okay, we we talked about Italian movies. I mean, um, Italian American cinema. Right. So, I feel like I've seen all those movies a million times. But there's very few Italian movies that I've seen. You know, I've seen a couple of the old black and white ones yeah. or whatever. But I mean, what Americans are better at doing movies than Italian. I'm going to give you that. So, I don't I know mean. about that. There's some great, there's some great Italian movie. Uh, um, you know, some of the most famous great Italian movie, you know, uh, from Fellini to, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, um, I mean. But in terms of like, to... To what movie do you think every American should fuck with? If you haven't seen it, it's like a Italian movie. A lot of people say Gamora. Oh, go yeah, yeah. Well, Gamora, yeah, yeah, Gamora, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you couple they copy, but this is all about the mafia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's fine yeah. too. But any yeah, I see couple they copy. They's all serious. Gamora, Subura, it's good about Rome too. Gamora, I seen, it's a uh, Cinema Paradiso. That was that was good. You know, it's a good yeah. feeling movie. But but okay. uh, nothing comes to my mind right now. A movie that uh, I mean, like that. Italian all movies. your friends know that you're like, oh God, are you? If, if you you're like, you didn't see this movie. How how you the fuck you didn't see so and so? 
Yeah, no, I, there's nothing comes to my mind to be honest right now. Oh but... God, are you? What good is this now? Um, <laughs> well, uh, okay. So then, also now, ah, I, I will Bella, say this: yeah, La Vita Bella is nice. Yeah, yeah, you're right. La Vita right, Bella. Right. Hey, La Vita so Bella, right? Yeah, you see, you see, La Vita Bella from uh, with um, Benigni is really nice. Yeah. Nice. Talked nice. about in that. Then, yeah. Someone said no, that I've... the movie Marvin's home. But I was that's... gonna say no movies, American movies or whatever about Italians. So Moonstruck is like. The Never greatest. mind Moonstruck for her. That snap out of it. it we're talking about Italians, it's not, not Italian and Americans. Nick Cage, not... like Nick Cage, is so sexy in that movie. Oh. Sheriff's amazing in it. Listen, Marvino is more sexy than Nick Cage. Okay. <laughs> Never mind Nick Cage. He's old already. Um. Now, and he's lose the hair. Marvin still have that beautiful uh, Northern Italian hair. Kind of. Oh, and listen, and Marvin, I should say too, you know, my, my dad's middle name, my, my dad unfortunately is no longer with us, but his middle name is Marvin. And that's what they always used to call him. So I knew whenever people used to call him up from his youth, if, if I answered the phone and they asked if Marvin was there, I knew they were, you know, like somebody from yeah, the yeah. house. But that, so that is a name that to me also just like has a real, I have a real soft spot for the name Marvin too. Nice. Oh, God, are you Marvin? You have another fans here. Oh, boy. Wow. <laughs> well, yeah. You're going to take advantage. That, that Italian's uh, work. Yeah. But okay, before you go, I got to, I got to ask um, one, one more stuff that I, that popped in, in my mind because obviously you've seen all these good fellas and all that kind of shit, no? Yeah, for sure. Now, do we ever get a situation where you got people in Ita in, it uh, in Italia, you know, watching Italian American stuff, and then trying to emulate the Italian Americans. Oh yeah, no, it's always been like this. Like Italian trying to copy the Americans, and Americans trying to copy. The Isn't Italian. that a funny situation? It is a like funny situation. You got two yes, people that sure. is trying to copy each other, for sure. and they fucking it up somehow, and then creating something just you know it's just great yeah the, I, I'm this, with food that. italians even if they do american stuff somehow they do it very good <laughs> but because they just they're just very good at doing food but they've been doing it longer think of how much yeah. longer they've been cooking than americans oh, god italian food so good you know it's, it's they have the hours they have the years you got ten thousand hours they italian 10, food in years. italy is amazing like it, it's amazing and there's a gelato shop on every corner like the food in Italy is insane. Oh, I'm gonna take there and fatten you up, Boham. Mm. I'm gonna I, give I, you... I, it, it, it was like the greatest eating vacation ever. It's oh. amazing. Oh God, I, I'm gonna take you there. I'm gonna be like the the witch in Hansel and Gretch, and I'm gonna feed you uh, all Italian stuff. Uh, <laughs> Zeppoli. So. Oh, Zeppoli, yeah, but that's south. Yeah, yeah. Good I'm though. gonna give yeah, you yeah. what is a cannoli. I'm gonna give you all that stuff. <laughs> I love cannoli. We're gonna find you I up. love gravioli. What's the one? Arancini. I like the one. It's like oh, oh, arancini. Arancini. I know all the stuff about the south. Yeah, but that's yeah. you. You gotta imagine. I spend a lot of time in New York, so oh those yeah, are the yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, Italian yeah, yeah, yeah. Arancini, sure, sure. arancini, all that shit. Oh God, for you. sure, for sure. Okay. All that the so brajol, all that fucking stuff. Ah, oh, God, anyway. Awesome. Well, I want you to to, to give uh, a half uh, um, uh, three kisses for me. Okay? Yes. But all, right. all and for mouth. me. I want you to give all to the mouth like this. Instead of this, 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 you're going to go like this. Okay? On the mouth. We should see. Maybe, we'll call, like maybe I'll call Benny. I'll, we need to get Benny on here as well. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Call. Yeah, Ben is so nice for her. I've interviewed for him sure. before. He's too nice. He's actually too nice for you, Renato. Yeah, yeah, I feel bad for her. Nah, but he keeps his own. Like, no, he does. He's but I, yeah, but the poor guy he's is so the fucking nice. Guy on the planet. He, he's the last person you would think is a fighter. Like you can't believe that this guy. No, a but he, he got he got some crazy in him. Don't don't let him fool you. Like, no, but you know what I'm saying. He's a fucking nice guy, boy. Dude, but no, he's a he nice guy. Married. But he, he's a nice guy because he got some crazy in him. Like he's like. Oh, saying, okay, like, you know, okay, okay. Oh, for right. sure, man. Benny got some said, crazy in him. Big. Hey, well, tell him you came on here. We won't mind. Benny him. from the Bronx. You know, I used to always say about Benny, like, if I had a sister, he's the kind of guy I would introduce to them. Oh, yeah, that, like, that's for such sure. A good that's guy. for sure. And that's how Loyal you said it, usually. You, you said that's, you say that stuff's about me all the time. And you say, like, your daughter, you're like, oh, hopefully one day <laughs> when she's old In enough. In fact, before you got on here, Renato, wow. I was telling people about how we're not an item and how I would never date you. 
Well, that's true, but now you're leaving it up because you don't you want to leave it open for whatever relatives or if your daughter when she is of of age because we know she have a poster of me on in there and you tore that one down. Like, you know the LL Cool J I need love <laughs> and the dad come in there and she go, "I'm tired of what's with this stuff, this half guys." And he tear the poster and she go, "No!" She go, "Daddy, no!" and the tears come down. Did you really do that? Yeah, yeah, she does that. She don't want her to be in love with me, but love have no it, love don't Barriers, know huh? uh, this kind of boundary. Love is 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 for oh, cara, you like amore. Amore. Yeah, a soul of me or for her. I may have a soul too, cara, you. But anyway. On that note, uh, Marvin, thank you so much and I'm so sorry. No, uh, no, no, you guys good. You guys good. I'm so understand. He understand the of language course. of love for her. We Italian, we know these kind of stuffs. Okay, for her. Yeah, Finale. Listen, I think, Tell the Finales I, I said hi for her. Tell no, them they no, yeah, will, will. Uh, out here. You, you're, you're, you're great. I think the last time I saw you, we were sitting at the, uh, on the post show together and stuff like that. And oh, it's yeah, always yeah, yeah. a treat. Uh, always a treat. Uh, just keep up the great work. Listen. You're you're so close to the title. Yeah, I can yeah. See it. It's like it's there. It's it's there. It's yours for the taking. And I know pretty soon we're gonna be calling you champ. And it's, well, it's once really you get once you're sure here and here, like it's it's just gonna happen. It's just there's just no way that it's not. I love it. I love it. All right, my it. brother. Hey, thanks for coming on. And uh, all right, thank you. Look forward to seeing you in person soon. Okay, my brother. Thanks, okay. Marvin. Okay, and and tell thank tell you. the boys tell the boys I said hi. I will. Yeah. Okay, uh, ciao. That's it, that. That's the one stuff I can say in both. Yeah, I can say in both languages. Yes. Ah, uh, Vitori. Vitori. What a good dude. Yeah, he's a he's a great guy. That's why I want people to understand that that he that he's uh, you know uh, not uh, he get a bad half. I like this. I, and this is on something uh, upon which we we can agree, right? That you and I both understand that, like the 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 a lot of people's perception of Marvin is so unlike who he really is. Yeah, because you know, I think he's high. He said, you know, whenever he's being interviewed, they're not interviewing, asking him what his favorite color or what his favorite Italian dish. They're going, hey, did you hear someone said they're going to kick a fucking hole through your head? And, and did right. you hear so-and-so well, said, gonna get fuck stuff. you or whatever? And then he goes, hey, fuck you too. You know, like, right. of, of course, you know, it, it's almost like, um, it's like, uh, you know, it's like a reality show. It's like if wives, stepwives of whatever fucking uh, Orange County, whatever the fuck, Beverly Hills, whatever wives. Exactly. What they call that one? Housewives, not stepwives. It's the, yeah, the housewives. Real now, what house, is even the a stepwife? I don't even think that's a heel thing. I made that up. I'm the thinking of the stepwife. The, the real housewife. No, but there was real housewives. Yeah. So, you know, um, yeah, I feel like it, it's just, it is what it is. They're going to latch on to whatever they can, you know? And if you're not it's giving true. them something in one direction, they're going to start, you know, poking the hornet's nest and trying to turn you into the fucking angry guy or whatever, you know? No, it's true. No, well, that's the whole thing is a lot of people and obviously I'm part of the media, but uh, we need a story to tell. Yeah, they tried to paint me as a womanizer. Can you believe that got on you? Well, it didn't take a big brush, Hanato. You're very... Oh, God, are you? you I, it, I'm having a big... In watercolor, in acrylic, in oil, in Oh, yeah, I'll give you a big brush and I'll give you everything. oil if you're not you careful. You are a womanizer. Yeah, never mind that. Never mind oil. I'll give you zucchini oil. Um, so now, listen. What are you reminiscing about the brush? You, you're like, you have a big br brush. I was actually thinking about that for a while. Walk softly uh, and carry a big brush. Hey, did you hear about festivities.com? You mean, wait, do you mean to tell me, hold on a second, hold the phone. You mean to tell me that there's a website where you can get all the festivities that you want in one spot for her? Are you? That can't uh, be. That's impossible. I, to no, have no. something like that, to have all that entertainment in one place would normally cost you what? Six, seven, five thousand dollars? At least. At the very but in least. one Like you chime life, in one place, you can get all that stuff they can't believe for free. It's almost as if 
a website exists called festivities.com that you can't see there, but nice. it's almost as if a website exists where all of our shows live. We ha the people have to know this, Karayo. This is true. They, they, what a mitzvah. It is a mitzvah. It is a mitzvah. So yes, folks, listen, festivities.com. All of our festivity shows are there. Hanato, can you, can you, can you remind people of some of the guests that we've had on the show? You know, it's one of those things. There's so many fucking guests. It's like, it's like a who's who. It's like, who have we not had on the fucking show? You know, but no, you you're know, right. You, you, you have a host, Nama Yunus. You have a ally Quench. You have a fucking Dana White. You have a, 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 a Bach, B, Bach B. Green. You have a Josh Barnash. You have a, who, I mean, it, 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 there's so many fucking Jarzinho, people. Jarzinho Rosenstruck. And by the way, Bobby Green, I believe, is fighting at UFC 271. So people uh -huh. should look at the Bobby Green episode for sure. We had, listen, we had Dan Hooker on. Dan Hooker. Um, we have had Sergio Pettis on. Oh, we Sergio have had Pettis. Anthony Lionheart Smith. How um, many times have, have we had Anthony? At this point, Anthony Lionheart Smith is like the, the wacky neighbor on the fucking sitcom. He show he up did. even when you don't want him to show up. He's, he's like bra man in Martin. Like you walk into the kitchen and he's in the fucking refrigerator already. He is. We had Glover Teixeira on. Glover Teixeira. Had... And you know, we don't get these people when they're on the skids. We don't get these people like, we're not like, um, what you call like uh, Hollywood Squares, where you get it when you're on your way up or your way down, right. when you're on skid hall. We get no. these fucking people when they're on the week of the fight or after they just won the fucking championship. As champion. We've had several champions, two Hall of Famers, because we had Rashad Evans and Clay Guida on. So we've Dean Thomas, of... even, somebody just said. And Dean Thomas, exactly. Oh, he's going to um, come back. And Angela Hill was on. Uriah Hall was on. Uh, we yeah, had on... God, I, Uriah Hall. I forgot about that, too. Uriah Hall, I mean, who? that's what I'm saying. How... Somebody goes, <laughs> I don't know why that's so fucking funny. Somebody goes, Hermes Franca. Hermes <laughs> <laughs> Franca. God, uh, yeah. That's a hell of a. I like. I like you. Said that's that's a good whoever get. said that. That's um, a good, yeah, Max that's Payne Griff. You know, we take some of these people for granted. Max Payne Carlos Griff. Carlos Condit. Somebody. That's Carlos right. Condit. That's what I'm saying. I can't remember. That's your aunt. Like to ask um, Julio Iglesias, uh, who has all the girl name all the girls you ever loved before. Okay? That, to all the girls or, I've ever loved. Or before. Willie Nelson. He don't remember all the fucking girls. Exactly, here. and that's the thing. I don't want to. I don't want to do anybody a disservice. Marab Dwalishvili, Aljamain Sterling, they have also been on the show with us. So that's the whole thing. We yeah. have had on some really incredible. people. We've had some uh, hung humdingers. We had Hasbula. No, we didn't have Hasbula. Hasbula, Wait. not yet. Not so Hasbula. We're those... not there yet. We're not. That's the next step. We're trying to. That's why you guys need to tell all your people so we can build to having the kind of A-list guests like. Hasbula and fucking what's the other kid's name? Oh, not somebody's saying Caro Parisian. And by the way, you can actually find stuff with Caro on my old. Oh yeah, on, we could on, get on my YouTube. We I could easily get Caro uh, Parisian. Um, what's the other fucking Vinny kids? Magalesh? No, no, no. Fuck Vinny Magalesh. Um, and by the way, if you're still there, Vinny, I saw that. I see this fucking piece of shit. He always liked to give you a little high, a wave, and stuff like that. And I always dismiss that one. Because I can see he's trying to barge his way, his fat body. Into... I don't. He... Listen, he's trying to. Yeah, Abdul Hazak. Uh, he's trying to 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 barge his fat, obese body in, in into the conversation. And we don't want that one. And so I just pretend I don't see that one. I I don't think he's obese. Well, you you, you I don't know what to, you need. So your eyes check. A anybody in this fucking thing know that he's obese? Sweaty, he's a loser, he's a has been. He, no, he they, never was. Are we thinking of the same guy? Somebody said we're gonna get Tim Sylvia, another guy. He have the same physique. Tim Sylvia looks better. Um, yeah, Vinny Magalesh is not great, not great. I have interviews with Tim Sylvia on you on my on my site as well. So, listen, not for nothing though, folks festivities.com um either in my stories here on instagram i have put a link to our after party 
and to festivities.com or just go to the at festivities page on Instagram here. You will find a link to the to the to the uh, to the website. Vincent Vega so said Vinny has loose skin, by the way, and this is true. I, From the half and weight game. I don't and the know wall. if we're thinking of the same person. The you, I think you in a I fantasy know. world because I think he's probably send you messages and stuff, and you have like a whole man in the in the DMs, and you you think that he's someone that he's not for, huh? The Vinny, the Vinny, the Vinny I know. It's a pretty good looking guy. No, this is not the same person. Are you sure? I'm tired of talking about Vinny. In fact, you want to have an after party call Vinny? My, my... Calvin Cater has been on our. We show. had Calvin Cater. And we had a hard flaunch. And rough flaunch. Hard flaunch, Calvin Kader. Um, yeah. Uh, ciao. We got a lot of excellent guests. Okay, so all of those are available on festivities.com. But listen, so in a couple minutes, we're just going to wrap this up. We are going over to uh, festivities.com and youtube.com, YouTube forward slash Karen Bryant, and my Twitter. We are going to have the after party. I have a bunch of things I want to ask Kanato about. I don't know. Hopefully, Max Payne Griff can join us. I'm not yeah. sure if Ryan or they have the links. Hopefully, they're coming. I have a link. If, if, if they don't, I, I got a link for you, too, if, 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 if all else fails. Are you? But regardless, either way, we answer a bunch of fan questions. I have a bunch of topics I want to ask you about, Hanato. So the after party is loose. Why it's don't a you lot ask more... Vinny Magalesh? I guess you're fucking, uh, if you saw, you know, you want to, why don't you just ask him? Sound like you don't even need me on here no more. Anato, I of course I need you. No, you better. You don't act like that one. Are you? Wow, you're getting a little sensitive now, aren't you? Well, uh, yeah. When it comes to a fat uh, human, <laughs> then I don't like that one. Okay, I tell you what. Let's wrap it up here. We're gonna go over to YouTube uh, or the festivity site in just a couple minutes. For the after party, YouTube forward slash Karen Bryant. There are links to the after party in my stories and or on the festivity site. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in a couple yeah, of minutes. Yeah, David Park said that he can sense a melancholy now. And it's true. Well, I didn't want to end on a note weird. It note was a melancholy. And now he, he senses a general ennui for her. An ennui. It's a great word. He bring by about the way. an ennui, Karen. Um, um, okay. We yeah, he make everybody to feel sad, to feel depressed. I didn't mean to do that. I'm trying. Well, to you bring up a, a sore subject for him. Well, can you? Nobody you, liked you, that subject. Do you think you can cheer up in the next couple minutes? We'll see. I will see. Um, no promises, going on. Okay, folks, we'll be there in just a couple minutes. Uh, yeah, we'll see you in a couple minutes over on YouTube or festivities.com. But thank you so much to Marvin Vittori. That was awesome. Yeah, Vinny Margulis smelled like a Brussels sprout. Oh, I, I learned that too in the in the fucking DNA stuff. He said that I'm more likely to to experience stuff like a Brussels sprouts to be more bitter than the average person. Paul. Really? Ex yeah, because it's a certain evolutionary trait uh, for animal or a human animal to found uh, to de detect poisons and stuff like that. And uh -huh. some some lines have you more acute than others. Just because of the, you know, the 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 different strands of evolution, um, and so I some people don't detect the bitterness of the Brussel as much as you, Uncle Hanach. Okay, well that's very interesting. Also, um, I, one more stuff. I learned that I'm also less likely to have a fear of heights. Okay, uh, not because I'm so strong and courageous or whatever, but because the fear of height come from the evolutionary thing where we've sudden a lot of us learn to balance by the our body is calibrate balance by the ratio of stuffs that's near us like you're looking at a you know the, the the things in your surroundings if you're standing up you know like you see stuff around you and you're calibrating that you know then when you're in a high heights your brain if you're used to visually looking at that stuff you brain see the, a car the size of a fucking matchbox car down there, and you it don't know now. It starts to lose its balance. And so the feeling you're feeling where you feel like you need to grab onto something is not, you're losing your balance. And so then you start to get anxiety about that, you know? And you feel like, I got to hold on to something. 
but there's other people who have uh, uh, evolved to use other parts except the, uh, beside the visual for balance. So okay. those people tend to not be as afraid of height because they're not getting that fucked up sensation that the people who is, so there's differences in human being because of that shit, you know? Okay. And that's interesting. I mean, it was interesting to me. Maybe the it other people go, I don't fucking is, care. But to me, is. I like to understand how stuff's work, you know? No, it's very interesting. It yes. Is. And, and it, said, it that said that Mike Swanson is more likely to, to hit the porcelain in the toilet bowl, Carayo, and to, to swab the, the deck for her. Is to go to Davy Jones' locker, like a sea serpent. But that's who wants to hear about that? Sarai? I have already started the loop about we're going to be on it's on YouTube in a minute. Okay, uh, we'll we're see gonna you wrap this up. I need a couple minutes to post this. Then we're okay, going we'll see you the there. We'll see you there. Ciao. Ciao. Thank you guys so much for joining us here. We really appreciate it. And, uh,